It's time for Inside Seminole Football with Mike Norvell. Breaking down game-changing plays. Momentum shifting moves. The inside scoop on the team and what's next for the Knolls. Inside Seminole Football with Mike Norvell. Live from downtown Tallahassee. ABC 27 presents Inside Seminole Football with Mike Norvell. Sponsored by these businesses. Now, the voice of the Seminoles, Gene Deckerhoff, and head coach, Mike Norvell. Hello and welcome to Inside, Inside Football. Football. Head coach, Mike Norvell. Football, football is on the air. On the air. Season, season by Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Do we have a lot to talk about tonight at what coach? Congratulations on a huge win over a rival that had beaten us four years in a row, and we finally took care of business. Congratulations on a huge seminal win. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you know, so proud of our players. I mean, it was an incredible night. Uh, just a, uh, a wonderful game. You know, they got to put on display, you know, their heart, the character. Um, you know, we talked a lot about how we finish, and uh, you know, there's no better way to finish that game uh, than, uh, than in dramatic fashion. And, uh, you know, our guys you know, they never flinched throughout the uh, the entire contest. The the good, the bad, and uh, you know, just continuing to believe and uh, making the plays necessary to, to win it there at the end. It was a it was a great uh, great day. This is a tremendous rivalry, coach. You know that. And uh, last year we took it on the chin. You couldn't go there. This was your first game on the sideline with a Florida State football team against the Miami because you had COVID last year. You had to quarantine for ten days. But what was it like on the sideline? One with the team, and two with a huge crowd that we had at the game. No, it was an incredible atmosphere, and for everybody that was at the game you know thank you so very much I mean it was uh, uh, it was special special for our players you know we had a, uh, a lot of recruits that were at the game and uh, you know they got to see the passion and the and the seminal spirit that uh, that was was on display for the entire game and just what a what a home uh, home field advantage we had and the, you know just our players the emotions um, you know we talked a lot about the excitement that was going to be you know, in the game but to play with poise and composure and you know I thought that's something that we did and you, know, you saw a disciplined team that w- went out there and played extremely hard and uh, you know, we made the plays necessary down the stretch to, to come out victorious. And it just, once again, uh, over a rival that was such a, such a great game and a wonderful memory for our guys for the rest of their lives. Uh, Coach, you, uh, you, on the sideline, all of a sudden Florida State takes advantage of a few miscues by Miami. We build a lead. I mean, we build a really 70-point lead over an arch rival. But somehow, some way, I think most similar faithful said, you know, we've seen this before. We have seen this before. We have built big leads against Miami. And somehow they've come back and come back and beat beat us of the last couple of plays. And I think back to just, what, uh, 2017. They score a winning touchdown with six seconds left of the ball game. And we had that game won. I mean, but uh, we turned the tables on Miami. Tell us about that two-minute drive. We get the ball back, what, two minutes and ten seconds, something like that? Yeah, you know, there was really the, that fourth quarter stretch. I mean, there was, you know, it was a uh, a lot of decisions that had to be made. You know, a lot of plays, you know, our, our players, you know, I, I love the sideline demeanor, just the confidence they had. Um, you know, we were actually, the, the series before, you know, we, uh, we went down, we were down eight. Uh, you had a fourth down situation, elected to kick the field goal. You know, you know felt very confident that uh, you know, our defense would be able to get a stop. And uh, so we were down five. Defense went out there, did their job. Uh, you know, got the ball back with uh, just a, just around two, you know, two minutes, uh, two thirty in the game. And uh, first play, I mean, Jordan Travis does an unbelievable pass to Jakai Douglas. Uh, big play, gave us a spark, and uh, you know, we we're able to move the ball down. And then the uh, the fourth and fourteen. You never fi- you never want to find yourself in that situation. Uh, a game on the line, and once again. And Jordan Travis, uh, offensive line, gave him great protection. They found Andrew Parchment on the dig route, and uh, you got down to the one, and a few plays later, we were able to punch it in, and uh, you know, just a, a special drive, and, and one that uh, you, you saw you know, incredible steps by Jordan, and uh, you know, just great playmaking ability, and the guys around him you know, definitely stepped up in that occasion as well. Not only did we punch it in to take the lead, but we needed two points to make sure that they could only tie with a field goal, because they still had 28 seconds left, and the two-point try, that's been that may be one of the toughest plays in college football. Well, tell us about that play. Again, it's Jordan Travis doing his thing. Well, I mean, it's an incredible uh, execution by our guys, you know, starting up front, you know, O-line, tight ends. You know, we had a pass option as well on it, uh, but, uh, you know, it, it uh, the play you know, it was executed and uh, played out just like we hoped, and uh, you had a big seam in there for uh, for Jordan to be able to run and to win in t- untouched, and that's, uh, that's that's how you like to draw them up, and uh, you see our guys, uh, you had a lot of confidence in the play, and, uh, you know, were able to, to, to pad the lead a little bit more and, um, you know, be able to you know, push it through to finish. I think fans that follow the game of football know, and there's no doubt about it, it is the ultimate team sport, and, and Coach, maybe 
maybe the most complimentary football we have played this year. Special teams, we made three or four field goals. The only one we missed was like 51, 52, just short. But then uh, defense turned the ball over. We got the ball back. We, sco we scored points. It was a complete complimentary football game. No, absolutely. And we knew that's what it was going to take. And, you know, we talked about uh, you know, the physicality that was going to be necessary, the, the passion, uh, the pursuit. And I, I thought our, play, our guys played so very hard. And, you know, we know we knew actually uh, uh, Coach Dugans and, uh, and Coach Higgins, you know, they talked about, you know, the rivalry throughout the course of the week. And, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, Coach Dugans mentioned, uh, that Coach Bowden would always say going this game, the team that can run the ball and the team that can stop the run is going to win this game. And that's something we challenged our guys with. And uh, it sure, sure felt good at the end of the game to see Miami only had 43 yards rushing and we had a heck of a lot more than that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, how about that? Wow. 160, I believe, right on the number, 160 to 43. And, and that just held true. I think it's only about five games in this series that goes back to 1950, maybe six games where the team that has outrushed the other team lost the ball game. And so Coach Bowden hit it on the head, and Ron Dugans and Odell Higgins were there. They could testify to it. Oh, my, the biggest smile in the office when I left after we recorded the postgame show was Ron Dugans. He had the biggest grin on his face I have ever seen. And he knows what that Miami series is all about. Well, I mean, it's a, this is a special matchup, and it's a uh, it's a great game. You know, we talked about it throughout the course of the week. I mean, this is it's one of those games that, uh, you know, throughout your career as a Seminole, as, as a player, as a coach, I mean, as a fan, you're going to remember – you're going to remember this game, and uh, you know the, the like the passion, the the importance to our fan base, the university, everybody involved. I mean, it's it's uh, definitely great to have bragging rights uh, for this year, and uh, you know, the job that was done for our for our players. Um, but uh, you could just you could feel it, uh, you know, throughout the course of the week, and just you know our guys wanted to go out there and represent the program the way it deserved to be represented, and uh, you know they they definitely did that on Saturday. Congratulations, Coach Mike Norvell. FSU beats Miami 31 to 28. Can I say that again? 31 to 28 <laughs> about them Seminoles. It's uh, an incredible game, and uh, we're going to talk more about it. Coach, we can talk about FSU beating Miami for the next week. You got time? No, we got Boston College. <laughs> right. By the way, kickoff 12 noon on Saturday in uh, uh, Chestnut Hill, Boston College, Alumni Stadium. And the uh, weather forecast, I just told Coach, it's 45 degrees for a high and only 32 for a low. We've got summer-like weather in Beantown. Well, not necessarily. Simply IOA is giving you the chance to win Seminoles courtside seats. Prizes include courtside seats for you and three friends to an FSU home basketball game versus an ACC opponent in February of, uh, of 2022, which is just around the corner. Enter at simplyioa.com slash Knowles. Keep it right here on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Today tastes like a home game. Like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat. And like a front row seat. <laughs> Your heating and air conditioning system doesn't care if it's a convenient time to take a break. That's why at Barano Heating and Air, we are ready whenever you need us. Any day, any time, anywhere. Our service team is ready to help even if it's after hours or on the weekend. Plus, with our total service agreement, you always get same-day service with no overtime charges, ever. We will always be there for you. Fire. Some fear it. Some fight it. Some break its will and make it do their bidding. Sonny's Barbecue, local pit masters since 68. Inside Seminole Football with Mike Norvell, sponsored by these businesses. Stay tuned for more Inside Seminole Football with Mike Norvell. ABC 27 wants to make sure every family has a meal this Thanksgiving. We need your help to make that happen. Join us for the ABC 27 Turkey Drive, benefiting Second Harvest of the Big Bend. Wednesday, November 17th, drop off donations at our two drive through locations at Ponce de Leon Park or Bannerman Crossing. And it's so easy, you don't even have to get out of your car. 
With your help, we can help make the holidays a little brighter for thousands of families. The ABC 27 Turkey Drive, Wednesday, November 17th. When searching for a law firm, type in Searcy Law. You'll see U.S. News and World Report Best Lawyers has named Searcy Denny a Tier 1 Best Law Firm. Learn more at searcylaw.com. Do you have a manufactured home and can't find home insurance? Call us now and you can get quality insurance today and you could save hundreds of dollars. Auto, homeowners, life, Waterhouse and Associates. They really made me feel special. Here we are talking on a Monday night with head coach Mike Norvell. Welcome back to Inside Seminole Football with coach Mike Norvell. It's uh, great to be a Florida State Seminole. Where you guard it and it goal proudly. FSU knocks off uh, rival Miami, 31-28, old-fashioned Florida State-Miami game. Won at the last minute by our favorite football team, the Florida State Seminoles. Uh, coach, uh, Florida State Athletics would like to thank Florida Farm Bureau Insurance for their support of FSU Athletics all season long and all the seasons too. Florida Farm Bureau Insurance, thank you very much. I know the coach appreciates Florida Farm Bureau Insurance. Coach, let's uh, dissect that big one over Miami. Uh, there's a couple of couple of points in that ball game uh, where, where it looked like Florida State was going to run away with it, then all of a sudden it looked like Miami was going to come back and run away with them. Then it came down to the last two and a half, three minutes. What is it about the last four minutes of, co of college football games? You know, I mean, it's, uh, as, as you go through a game, you know, the emotional swings, uh, uh, you're always going uh, to take its toll and you'll really have an effect on the, on the ball game. And, you know, uh, that's one of the things that we've really been pushing towards our guys because we've seen it you know, work out to benefit us, and then you know, we've seen times that you know maybe we've we've missed out or lost focus in critical moments uh, you know, throughout the course of the games, and I mean, that's one of the things we've been pushing. Let's make sure we learn the lessons and be able to apply them uh, when it counts. And uh, you know, in this game, I thought our guys just did a great job. Uh, you know, the the, the swings. Um, you know, we gave up a couple plays that uh, you know you know, give credit to, to to our opponent. I mean, I thought they did a nice job trying to mix up to, to create a couple of explosives, but uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, I mean, our guys they never lost hope they never uh, uh, you know, you know, really hung their head at any moment and they just you know truly uh, focused on the next play that was in front of them and when they got the opportunity they were able to go out and, and capitalize and finish the way we needed to Mike, what is it about ACC quarterbacks? It seems like you know we, we call the league quarterback you a uh, quarterback conference because of so many previous ACC quarterbacks that are in the National Football League. But it seems like we have faced a ton. I mean, six at least six really really great quarterbacks in our teams that we played this year. I mean, it's a it's a special uh, special group, and um, you, you see the quarterbacks week in and week out, and all playing at a very high level. Uh, the the uh, diversity in, in in offenses and and you know schemes that you're going to face, and you know just the skill players. That that we have in this league, I mean, it's going to present a challenge. And we've got another great one that we're going to have to face this week. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's one of the, the fun things about being in the ACC is that every week, I mean, you have to bring your, bring your A game because, you know, if, if not, uh, these quarterbacks, these teams, I mean, they're going to be able to expose you. And, uh, you know, our guys, you know, really embrace that this last week. I mean, you look at a, in our defensive backfield, I mean, that was something that, uh, you know, we talked a lot about. We were playing a very dynamic, uh, you know, you know um, uh, an offense that was playing with a lot of momentum. And, uh, I thought we were able to do a really nice job of, of shutting down a lot of things in the passing game. And, uh, you know, our guys uh, were able to make some of those explosive plays by creating those takeaways, which I was really pleased with. Miami had that win streak going because they had a quarterback, a freshman by the name of Tyler Van Dyke, who was honored by the ACC as Rookie of the Week, three consecutive weeks. And, oh, by the way, Florida State stopped that string because uh, a Marion Cooper was this week's Rookie of the Week by the ACC media. Congratulations, Mary. Tell us about Marion Cooper. He's battling the best quarterback and the hottest quarterback in the country, and he shuts him down with four passes yeah, open up and an interception. Yeah, it was his first career start yeah. and, uh, you know, he's just gotten better and better as the season's gone on. Uh, you know, Coach Woodson's done a wonderful job with him and really hoping, uh, you know, you know, develop him throughout the throughout the season and, uh, you know, you see his confidence was, was growing with each game and, and uh, you know, he put himself in a position that he earned the start and, uh, you know, just, just like any time a true freshman runs 
out on the field, he got he got targeted, and uh, you know I think they went at him eight times, only allowed two catches, but had four pass breakups and an interception. I, I think uh, you know I heard earlier that it's the first time in since 2013 that a true freshman has done that at any place in the country, and so I mean it was a it was an unbelievable uh, introduction to to this game and really a breakout performance for him uh, here very early in his career. And coach, the last Seminole freshman to have four pass passes broken up and an interception in a game uh, wasn't a freshman. I think he was a sophomore. Derwin James. Anybody remember Derwin? <laughs> Derwin James, huh? And now playing in the National Football League, one of the best players in Florida State history. I wish he hadn't gotten hurt early in that second. But anyway, I digress. But O'Marion Cooper is this week's rookie, not only rookie of the week, but he's also the defensive back of the week for his performance in that game. You ready for sport honors, Coach? Oh, absolutely. How, I love hearing about him. How about Jermaine Johnson uh, for the fourth time this season named defensive lineman of the week? And how, how big of a game, Coach, when you looked at the video, how big of a game did Jermaine Johnson have against Miami? Yeah, I mean, it was a, a, a dominant performance. And uh, to have three sacks, uh, five TFLs, I mean, seven tackles, I mean, the, the impact that he had in that game was, was incredible. And, um, you know, I think, you know, looking back, it's one, of the, it's one of the most dominant performances by a defensive lineman in, in, the, in the history of this rivalry. And, uh, you know, he showed up big in the, in the time where, where it counted. And, uh, you know, just so proud of Jermaine and, and just the continued growth and the leader that he is. You know, you, it's easy to point to all the great plays that he's making, but also the inspiration he is, the way that he practices, the way that he prepares. Uh, it's somebody that you're rooting for to have success on Saturday, and he's definitely doing that. Jermaine Johnson, fourth time uh, ACC defensive lineman. He's a strong candidate for ACC defensive player of the year. I, I'm going to vote for him. I, I think everybody that was going to go is going to vote for him, but I mean, you know, I got to vote. I got to vote, and I'm going to I'm tell you right now, I'm going to vote for Jermaine Johnson as defensive player of the year. Say, 20. 22 some of the booster memberships are now available as well as football season tickets so to join or renew visit seminoles.com slash tickets that's booster memberships and season tickets are available seminoles.com slash tickets now uh, you mentioned marcus johnson uh, marcus woods just a moment ago jermaine johnson marcus wood jermaine's the football player marcus is the defensive secondary coach and he's going to be our special coach assistant coach guest of the evening and uh, uh he's going to be very proud of what his team did against miami absolutely Absolutely, and you know, Coach Woodson, you know, he's uh, really you know led a, a very young group uh, you'll hear this year, and you know we've had a couple of newcomers that have that have joined, uh, but when you look at it, you've got a true freshman in Kevin Knowles, a true freshman uh, in Amari and Cooper, and you know then you know guys that are, are still young freshmen and sophomores uh, that are that are uh, battling there in that secondary, and just to see their growth throughout the year. Uh, early on, you know, we had some, we had some mistakes, we had some learning experiences, some things that we had to build upon, uh, but they just continue to work on the fundamentals, continue to work on on, on the communication, and making sure that everybody was on the same page and you know they've really played at a very high level uh, and you know what I love is you, you see them making the explosive plays uh, you know the, you know creating interceptions making sure that uh, uh, you know, we're, we're limiting the explosive plays for you know, on the opposing offenses and then you know just as we saw the, the other day when it when it came down to it some incredible plays uh, you'll be able to end drives and uh, just really proud of coach Woodson and, uh, and our defensive backfield for how they're growing 10 interceptions and uh, most of those I think all of them by our defensive backs and uh, two big ones against the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, uh, the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles remind you to stay in the game and play by the rules. Texting and driving is against the law. We know that. One text takes your eyes off the road for about five seconds, and at 55 miles an hour, that's like driving around the length of a football field with your eyes closed to win while driving. You must focus, put it down, and focus to drive to arrive alive. That's the Florida Department of Highway Safety, their advice. To, it's against the law of text while you're driving. The Inside Seminole football with Coach Mike Norvell will continue as Seminole football on Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. Have you checked out the okay, you thirsty little spin goblins. I want you to pedal into the next dimension. Spin it! Spin! Spin! Uh-oh! Carmen's falling behind. Let's give her the hiss of shame. Please. Don't ride the bike of shame. Come to Planet Fitness and find your own link with tons of equipment, free fitness training, and no hissing. Join today for just $10 a month. Your extraordinary brain. A network of microscopic vessels so long they could circle the Earth three times. As your body's command center, it's the force behind your every thought, every memory, and every impulse. It's what makes you, you. 
And it's what drives us towards advanced technologies and cutting edge treatments to create the most comprehensive neuroscience program in North Florida and South Georgia. Inside Seminole Football with Mike Norvell, sponsored by these businesses. Stay tuned for more Inside Seminole Football with Mike Norvell. Some roofing companies say they're the best in town with the best price around. That safety is their top priority. They have 240 years of combined roofing experience. Put your social security number right there and make the check out to cash. But they don't always have your best interests at heart. At T-Spark, we believe in doing things the right way, the safe way. <sighs> Second time this week, man. Ugh. Southern Flooring in Mohawk Smart Strand. Astonishing softness, maximum durability. My experience with Southern Flooring was exceptional. Southern Flooring has done work with us on well over 100 homes. Southern Flooring has been supplying us uh, carpet for our rental properties, vinyl plain flooring, tile. Southern Flooring is the only company that I recommend and the only one that I would recommend. Hassle-free, stress-free, easy, on-time um, installation of any kind of products in your house. Go with Southern Flooring. Talking Florida State football at Bricks and Brass on a Monday night with head coach Mike Norvell. And uh, we're going to continue our discussion. Can I say it again? 31 to 28. Yeah, 31 to 28. Florida State beats Miami. And uh, we uh, get ready for the final two games of the season. Those are both on the road. So our final home game was this past night. What a way to wrap up the final home game of the season. And coach, it was senior day. Senior day. And how special was it for the 13 seniors that walked before the game with family and uh, shook hands with you, posed for pictures. And how important it was for those seniors to beat Miami, our arch rival, and uh, finish on a winning note on their home game? Oh, no, man, it was, it was huge. Just like I said, it was, it was a... a, a, a a memory that will last a lifetime and a special game and uh, you know that's the, the the commitment that those guys have made you know some have been here for six years some have you know just got here this past season and but the the you know the the role that they've laid they've that they've had in laying the foundation for where we where we're going uh, just so grateful for all the hard work and no better way to send them out uh, uh, beating Miami there at Dope Campbell and uh, you know, just a, a special special occasion congratulations to the Seminole seniors that walk with their parents and and, and family at the beginning of that game against the Miami Hurricanes. And, uh, Coach, some of the guys, some of the seniors probably didn't play a lot. Their name wasn't in the newspaper, but they grinded it out. I mean, they came to practice every day. They were part of this team that's building a program that can beat Miami year in and year out. Well, it's, and that's what you want to see. You want to see guys that, that, are, that are making an impact. Well, you know, some guys have bigger roles than others, but, but everybody makes an impact in helping our team grow and develop. And, uh, you know, I'm so, uh, so appreciative to all the hard work, the commitment. Uh, you, know, you know, we get to see what happens on the field, but uh, the work that these guys are doing off the field and, and continuing to, to make sure that they represent Florida State football the way it deserves to be represented uh, is something that I'm, I'm grateful for and very proud of those young men. All right. Congratulations, Seminole seniors, and uh, we'll see you at Boston. On Saturdays. Now, it's time for tonight's Tijuana Flats Queso question. Coach, it's always a good question. Submitted by fans via Seminoles.com. And tonight's question comes from Mark in Jacksonville. And Mark says, Coach, how much of an Im impact did Saturday's win have on the future of the program and on recruiting? Uh, I mean, it's a huge impact. And uh, you know, every year, I mean, that game, uh, you know, we get to play, uh, you know, both our in-state rivals year in and year out. And, I mean, those games are, are critically important. You know, we have the most fertile of recruiting ground in the country, uh, you know, with, with all the wonderful players that, that are here in the state of Florida and in our region. And, uh, you know, Saturday was a big day. We had uh, 10 official visitors, uh, you know, over 100 uh, unofficial visitors. And, uh, you know, once again, I want to say thank you to, to all that were in attendance and all the season ticket holders for this year. Uh, you don't, it, it makes such an impact, the atmosphere that we have, uh, you know, the, 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 the impression and the passion that we, that, we, that we leave on these young men when they come to see and as they're exploring all the options that they, that they have. In, in their choice for uh, uh, where they want to go to school. And, you know, we definitely left our mark uh, this weekend and excited about what the future holds. And, and they got to see, uh, you know, the direction of where our program is heading. And uh, there's a lot of, a lot of excitement and a lot of momentum, uh, you know, here around our program.
program. Okay, Mark from uh, Jacksonville, that is your, your answer to the question. Uh, uh, I think you can tell him the smile on Coach Mike Norvell's face. It was a huge, huge victory. Oh, by the way, all those recruits, the unofficial visits, the official visit recruits that you're recruiting right now, I'll bet you they enjoyed the Marching Chiefs playing their special song, the hymn to the Garnet and Gold, when they were waiting outside of the locker room. Uh, the Chiefs did a great job. Uh, they, they did a great job week in and week out, and it's just uh, so grateful uh, for all the hard work and the dedication of the Marching Chiefs, and, uh, you know, they, uh, they definitely help create that home field advantage and uh, you'll, you'll, you're definitely a special a special group. They have never lost a halftime show, the Marching Chiefs of FSU. Be sure to submit your questions on Seminoles.com for a chance to have your question featured on the show and to score free queso from Tijuana Flats. That's Seminoles.com and we'll get your question answered by the coach. Tico People's Gas, delivering natural gas that helps you save energy and earn cash back. Learn more. It's People's Gas. Dot com And, uh, Coach, before we go to break, i got a question. Maybe the biggest play, we've had some big plays. We've had some explosive plays. Jay Sean had an 80-yard, 75-yard run for a touchdown. We had that huge 60-yard catch and run uh, against Clemson, you know, down the sideline. And uh, that's Tofili had that one. And then this past ball game, down to the crunch time, two minutes, 10 seconds ago, first play from scrimmage, a 60-yard catch by Ja'Kai Douglas. Tell us about Ja'Kai Douglas. You, every now and then, you don't see him. You don't see him. Also, he makes a huge play. No, Ja'Kai's a young uh, redshirt freshman that that, is, uh, that has really worked hard throughout the course of this season, made an incredible impact in special teams. Uh, you're one of our best special teams players, but uh, you know also uh, you know is, is, is sees the moment when he gets opportunities offensively and uh, can turn and uh, continuing to earn a bigger role. And you know we've got a great running back room, uh, and he's one of those guys that's just continuing to grow. And uh, you know we were able to put him in, in some positions out at the receiver uh, the receiver spot. And uh, you know when the, when the moment called for it, he was ready. And uh, you know had had his best game. I think he had four catches for 90 yards, but no bigger play than the uh, uh, than the 60-yard pass uh, to start that uh, that last drive. That one will go down in the Seminole legend book uh, in a rivalry series that dates back to 1951. Ja'Kai, tremendous effort on the... Did he line up as a slot receiver on that, or was he in the backfield? He did. He lined up as a slot receiver, and, uh, you know, that's something that, you know, his versatility of his skill set uh, and the speed and ball skills that he has, I mean, he's uh, definitely going to be a weapon for us, you know, here as he, he continues to grow up and develop. Ja'Kai Douglas, uh, number 22 in your program, number one in your heart. Great game for Jigga. Career game. 93 yards receiving on four catches. Planet Fitness is a proud partner of the Florida State Seminoles. At Planet Fitness, gain access to a clean and spacious club with tons of equipment. And my favorite, the one and only Judgment Free Zone. All for just $10 a month. Go Knowles. Keep it right here on the Seminole Sports Network from Learfield. At Vistar, we believe in better. That means treating people better with a kind of friendly, personal service that's kept our members happy since 1952. A smile and personal greeting for everyone who comes into the branch. An online or phone chat for those quick questions. And a call center that's open seven days a week. If you believe that great service is better, join Vistar. Visit ViStarCU.org. My name is Leslie. My favorite thing about the Grilled Chicken Club is the grilled chicken. Like it's actually been on a grill. As soon as you grab it to go take your first bite, it's just like <laughs> insanely good. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brian. And a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A mac and cheese is you can taste the different types of cheeses and the blends that they use. And everything just comes together. It's like a delicate dance. They're like perfection in every bite. Inside Seminole Football with Mike Norvell, sponsored by these businesses. Stay tuned for more Inside Seminole Football with Mike Norvell. The holiday season has arrived, and so has the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your Ford dealer. Inventory is arriving daily, so it's the best time to buy a Ford F-Series. Get a Ford F-150 with zero for 60, plus get $500 in retail bonus cash. It's time to get holiday ready with Ford. Get a Ford F-150 with zero for 60 and 500 retail bonus cash, plus complimentary maintenance when you sign up for Ford Pass Rewards. See your Ford dealer today. Here at Barrett Nottingham of Ferraro, we're here to help advise you and make sure you get what you deserve. We can help provide you with the resources that you need to get you on the right track and going in the right direction. Help us feed local families this Thanksgiving with the ABC 27 Turkey Drive, benefiting Second Harvest of the Big Bend. Starting November 15th, visit fightinghunger.org slash turkey to donate. Together, we can help make the holidays a little brighter.
Welcome back to our show on Monday night. We're Bricks and Brass. Great studio audience here tonight. And uh, we, we salute our fans that come out on Monday nights and enjoy an evening with Coach Mike Norvell and with some of the fellow Seminole fans. And uh, appreciate everybody coming out on Monday night. Next week will be our final Monday night show of the season. It's hard to believe, Coach, it's already here. But that will be our final Monday night. So we encourage all of you to come back and bring some friends and, uh, and celebrate a win over Washington College. Okay? Do that for me. All right. Thank you very much. It's with Zero Sugar. And now even more delicious is the new Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, the best Coke ever. Well, find out for yourself. Try it. Coke Zero Sugar. Now, Coach, it's time for the Stat Nugget, presented by Chick-fil-A. And uh, the Nugget is uh, Marion Cooper made his first collegiate start in the win against Miami, became the first FSU defender with four, four pass breakups and an interception in a game.